Liverpool have capitulated to the Hammers or the Irons. Yes. Um, but other than that, do smash the like button. You might like what I have to say. You might not like it. To be fair, I'm going to try to be a little bit more objective in this video. Be a little bit more respectful in a way. I'll leave the shamelessness to the live videos, right? And I must say, look, first and foremost, big up to David Moyes and West Ham for stopping Liverpool from getting any sort of trophy, Premier League in general, and absolutely ending their hopes and their dreams. You know, Jurgen Klopp, a.k.a. Jurgen Flop, however you want to label it. You know, I think, the, I, I'm going to be honest, I think the players have just let Jurgen Klopp down. For someone that has actually done good in the Premier League on their side of things, you know, did bring Pep to the boil, you know, a couple times. You know, even though I think some things, are, his statements have been ridiculous. But in this game in general, even the last couple games, Liverpool didn't play bad, you know. And I just feel like the, 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 the players let, Liverpool, well, let Jurgen Klopp down, especially someone that's about to leave. Does he care? Does he not? They've definitely let the guy down. You know, some applications are just, I'm just, I'm just not feeling at the moment. And you can kind of tell who's like wiltering, you know, like Andrew Robertson, you know, oh God, you know, it's, it's the end of an era. It's true. You know what? Ahmad Diallo might have spoiled the party, you know, from Man the Man United perspective, but Robertson, who I've criticized, has been one of the better players. And to be fair, he's shown heart and desire. And then I look at other players who don't look too bothered, like Trent Alexander-Arnold, even though he's good, sometimes I feel like, Where's the passion? Like, there's the, there's, there's the fire. Where's the fire in the belly? Like, I'm not really seeing it as much as I would. You know, and I look at someone like, uh, even Cody Gakpo. Like, I call him Gakpo, but I call him Gakpo for these purposes, right? I thought he, his application was good today, you know, but the quality isn't shining. You know, Mohamed Salah, obviously, people want to rate him. People don't want to rate him. Don't want to call him a great. It's up to you. The guy's a menace. But him being dropped for good reasons as well. He has been absolutely flopping for Liverpool towards the end of the season. Again, where's the fire in the belly? It's like, it's like, where's the, you know, where? why don't you pick yourself up and get this over the line at times? I know Liverpool have been trying to get over the line for many, many months. You know, since February, I think the performances have dropped. Whether you want to blame now on injuries or whatever, that's totally up to you. But it's like the fire's gone. Luis Diaz, again, the best, probably the best player on the pitch today. The only one that was trying to do something, hit the post, you know, gave Sufa a really, really hard game. You know, where's the rest of them? Do you know what I mean? Like, Endo, it's, you had a, such a good purple patch and now you just like, you calm it down. I'm not, the thing is, I'm I'm happy that obviously Liverpool dropped points. But from a Liverpool perspective, it's, you've got to think like, this is your this is your boss. You know, this is his final. He's nearly been here a decade and this is what you have to show for him. It's a bit, you, you can probably put that across to most coaches in the Premier League that have left, you know, typically, is it wrong timing? Is it right timing for Jurgen Klopp? Jurgen Flop to even say what he said in January. Was it in January? And then say that he's going to go at the end of the season. Maybe it would have been best now. That's all up for debate. And, you know, but still, you know, you, there's, a, there's a title on the line and you're just not giving enough because the ability is there. Let's be real with people, right? The ability is there. They've got enough quality. They've been smashing teams. They were smashing teams. Europa League, Premier League, and all of a sudden it just goes flat. Something's happened in that dressing room where I believe it's just... It's just not gone right. Is it something to do with the back room? Is it something that, that, you know, the players are thinking about their futures? You know, if they're going to fit into the new manager's plans? I don't know. But for what I can see is it's not good enough. You need to step up a gear. And now they've got a manager where it looks like he's going to go through another transition phase when they've got a good quality squad. You know, maybe Klopp has to have some sort of blame. You know, Joe Gomez with some, some fire form. Why is he playing? Why haven't you moved Trent up further in the midfield? You know, you know. if we even talk about today's game anyways, the two, the three best players for me for Liverpool were Graven Birch, Cody Gakpo, and Luis Diaz. And you know what? Not far off. You can even say Andrew Robertson. So you know what? They're, they're all up for debate. And I usually get on to Cody Gakpo. You know, I usually get on to um, Graven Birch sometimes as well. And... Today, they were actually trying something, but it was just, it was just not clicking. And you can see that, I could see that. And I wouldn't even say West Ham were amazing, but they defended really well. But there were chances, there were leaks, and they took their moments. Antonio, you know, with that head off, <laughs> boy, Bowen, quality. This is why people like Monster, everyone rates him, not just because they got the same last name, but Jared Bowen was a menace. And it was just like, this is why isn't the midfield getting back quick enough to? To handle Bowen and why isn't when he's in the box 
this this whole zonal marking it hasn't worked it's not going to work it didn't work against everton so why would you play against west ham two teams that are really really good in the air now that comes down to the coaching and everything and maybe they haven't learned their lesson you know but you know it was all in liverpool's hands two lucky goals let's be real Ariola with his paper wrists yeah he should be saving that andrew robertson shot right and that was just pure luck you know you could even say the own goal it would have went anywhere. That's probably down to pure luck. But then it's like little things, bits in the bobs in the box where it's like, why haven't you finished? Like, like Graven Birch, the flick on. Why didn't you take a touch or bang it with your or volley it properly? Why do you have to be cute with it in the box? You could have scored there. It's just little moments like this. The last few games, Liverpool have just gone absolutely missing. And I'm absolutely delighted. But look, title race is at an end. And I think this, this game confirms it. The last five games even confirms it. It's just absolutely capitulation model and that's that this is your season and you know what you've got three more points you have to get one more win to make sure you secure champions league and i'm not saying you're not going to do it because you are going to do it that that's a fact but all of a sudden i'm just going to say this if tottenham decide they want to turn up at anfield because they smell a bit of fear in liverpool's play and aston villa decide that they want to have an absolute game and a half to try and secure champions league over liverpool all of a sudden you find yourself at the end of the season with in a sticky situation when we were all saying that the easiest run, we, I think we was doing that like the last eight, 10 games. Liverpool had on paper probably the easiest run. But Liverpool fans were trying to tell us that it's not as easy as uh, we think. And true to their word, they were right. Maybe Man City had the easiest run towards the end of the season. But in pole position at that point, Liverpool were about a couple points cl uh, clear or a point clear, maybe even on goal difference. So that's why, you know, objective change and there's difference in thoughts and opinions. But tonight, Today, is sorry, not tonight, sorry, in the afternoon, it's just, I just don't see where it went. You know, the play was good as well. You're moving the ball quick, side to side as well, getting it down to the wing, getting it down to Diaz, getting it down to Harvey Elliott. And it just, that was that. And if this is Liverpool that's going to go into next season, especially without Mo Salah, without the 20 goals, you know, especially when there's another year on Virgil van Dijk's uh, age and another one on Andrew Robertson, if there isn't a major influx of quality that comes through the squad, then Liverpool might find themselves in fourth or fifth place. And that's something that's pretty dangerous. But obviously, Liverpool, you've got Michael Edwards. You've got some hope. Now your season's written off. It's done. Now you can just enjoy the rest of the games and hope for whoever you lot want to support. I want to support Arsenal towards the end of the season to hope they might win the league. Some of you might want to put City in that pedal stool. I, it's, it's up to you. Just to try and enjoy the football. You've got the Euros. And yes, I am, a, I am going to be a little bit nice about this. I have been nice about this. Um, because you know what? I've been shameless. I've been shameless for a few weeks, and sometimes it gets boring, and it kind of bores me. So, yeah, just a little bit of a different angle. Um, hopefully, you lot can appreciate that. I'm pretty sure Marcus and the other United fans will be like, "Why are you not going in on them?" Don't worry, we have that time. It will happen. So, but yeah, man, look, you you drew the game. It probably will feel like a loss, and I hope it burns. Jurgen Flop and the rest of the crew in a bit.